Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com. Today we're going to make a DIY coaster box and some custom coasters. You're going to need some stone coasters, a chalk marker, acrylic paint markers. You're also going to need a laser engraver, wood glue, spray paint, and some wood to use for your laser cutting. These are some of the coasters that I made at the beginning. I tried a few different methods, but I decided that I liked the stone coasters the most. So your first step is to spray paint any of the wood that you want to have be different colors. Your second step is you're going to cut the side and divider pieces for your box. In this case, I didn't spray paint them first, I spray painted them after. Next, you're going to cut the wood for your bottom and for your lid. You're going to engrave your design on your lid as well. Also engraved my coasters. And the next thing you're gonna do is assemble your box. You're gonna use some wood glue to attach everything together and let it dry. You can cut a small piece um, of wood for your chalk marker to hold it and glue that onto the lid. And now you can go ahead and use your acrylic paint markers to color in your design on your engraving. Finally, I added some um, polyurethane spray to protect the paint. And then I just put my chalk marker on the cover and added my coasters. You can also add some felt pads to the bottom to keep it from scratching furniture. Okay, so I purchased these chalk markers so I could write right on the coasters. So the idea was that most of the names of people that are always at dinner um, are engraved on here but there are some blank ones for guests and on those ones you can just write on them with the chalk markers and the beautiful thing is they erase very easily so um, you can actually just run them right underneath some water and it'll rinse right off you can also just take a wet piece of cloth as well um, these have been on these had actually been sitting with the chalk marker on them for uh, let me maybe two days I think before I rinse them off so it worked pretty well and there was no residue left um, I hope this was helpful um, please let me know if you have any questions I'll have more information on my blog post about this and um, that'll be on DIYDanielle.com I hope you have a great day thanks so much take care